Alright, we're back at the Baron's Castle. Switch to your Explorer's Kit, because you will need it. You can't pass by this without it. Ceiling's far too close. First three obstacles, a spike ball, get down here, duck, get over, duck again. Because you can't jump twice, so the ball will hit you, it's set up that way. Go up, uh, go up through that chain and pass the fire. Now uh, there's another swinging ball right up there, look out for it. And go up, up, and through here. Uh, oh boy, can't do it. Okay. And next room. Now there's going to be ghosts coming out of these uh, knights, so be look out for them, but you can just walk right past them. Here's a shop door, but those things suck, especially when you got a limited continues. Whoops. I probably should have my uh, cowboy suit out, but eh. The explorer's kit's much, much better. Now there's two doors, this one and one ahead. You have to go in both of them and beat both bosses to continue. This is the Juggling Weasel, or whatever you call him. You remember how to beat him. Just jump on his head when he throws the fire, jump on him, over the, jump over the fire and onto his head. Oh, he turned right at the last second. You suck. And... Just like before, he's an easy boss. And one more hitch to it. Oh, come on. What the heck? Does he take more hits? I guess so. Ah, there we go. Okay, we move on. Now it's going to put us behind where that door was. See, that's the door up there. Then you come down here. Then there's another door coming up. Look out for the ghosts. Well, next one, you have to switch to the cowboy outfit. And it's Bar Baron Pete's painting. Pete's painting, whatever you call it. You remember? I mean, remember this boss. So he's gonna shoot out the glowing eye thing first to bring some books alive. When he pops out his head, shoot him. Jump over the books. And when he shoots fire, get to one of the edges and shoot him when he pops his head downwards. Like that. And get to the other side, opposite of the books. He's just as easy as when we first seen him. Just like the juggling weasel. Oh man, this is boring. This is an easy boss. <laughs> Come on, I can't be too much longer. Come on. There we go. This time I'm not getting hit by the fire. Jump up. And we are through to the next area. Get your explorers get out. You'll need it. Jump on this block. Let it go through. Now you got a platform to jump back. Oh, I really sucked at that. Ah, I can get up that way anyway. Look off of these things, they shoot fire. Get by them quick because they'll shoot again. There's another one. Then there's one more high one. I have to duck under that one. It's hard to get past that one otherwise. Now activate both these two blocks here. Oh, hey, why didn't that one activate? Okay, jump on this one here. Now you got two platforms to get through in case one fails. But we made it on the first one. Get past these cannons. They shoot in kind of like an arc formation with the uh, parachute, cannonballs, whatever that explode. So they're pretty easy to get past and predictable. And we are at the final boss of the game. So get your uh, cowboy suit out. Now start jumping and shoot at his helmet. When his helmet comes off, you can jump on his hands and simply <clears throat> jump right on his head repeatedly. And rape him. And there we go. I couldn't jump on his hands because they're electrified. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, that one homes in on you. And we're back. And he's already dead. We beat the game. Or did we? Uh-oh. Epic music. Here it comes. Any day now. <laughs> there it is. Dragon Pete. Now, I don't have any ammo, and if you don't have any ammo, you're screwed. So just... Oh, maybe not. So, anyway, kill yourself to get your ammo back. So it's good to come into this fight with at least one life. Oh, bad timing. Just keep jumping and shoot him in the chin. Yeah, it's the chin, not the whole head. The skin color you're, you're aiming for. Ah, oh, I really suck. This Boston fight isn't even that hard anyway. It's probably because I'm talking. And... Hey, he's dead. It's over. We beat the game. And here's the ending. Mickey, Barrett Pete's finally met his match. Minnie. Bark, bark. <laughs> ah, Pluto, you must really worried to walk all this way. Congratulations. You've saved us all from that dreadful Baron Pete. Thanks to you, we can get back to our simply spooky lives. Yeah, that's because you're lazy, Ghost. You could have shot up that boss with your own... Arr. <sighs> Thank you, Mickey and Minnie. Hey, I almost forgot about this ball here. Wanna play catch? Bark. <laughs> Mickey. Just watch this throw. Mickey should be like a quarterback for the NFL. Just watch this. Holy cow. I mean, it doesn't just disappear. It disappears past some mountains. I mean, geez. Those mountains have got to be thousands of miles away. Oh, that's cute. Well, it's just you and me and our pals. Isn't it wonderful? No more evil ghosts or Baron Pete. What do you say we head on home? And next thing you know, they're on a bus. And, ah, uh ah, -uh, there they are. Yep, that's it. This is the credits. I think I'll do another part with the credits, so I'll see you there.